In the previous lecture, we discussed connecting our resistors in series with respect to one another. Now, let's actually look at an example. Suppose we have an arrangement of resistors connected in series as shown in the following diagram. So if the electromotive force on the battery is 24 volts and the current is 3 amps, Calculate in part A the terminal voltage across the battery. In part B, calculate the value of R. And in part C, calculate the voltage across resistor number 3. So, let's begin by examining our electric circuit. So, we have our battery and that battery has a certain quantity of internal resistance given by lowercase r. So, this resistance is given by 0.5 ohms. Now, on top of that, we also have four different resistors. So, resistors number 1 and 4 have the same quantity of resistors, resistance given by uppercase r. Resistor number 2 has a resistance of 3 ohms and resistor number 3 has a resistance of 2 ohms. So using that information, let's begin part A. So let's recall the relationship between the terminal voltage and the electromotive force. So the terminal voltage across our battery when our electrons are flowing through the circuit is equal to our electromotive force minus the product of the electric current and our internal resistance. So the electromotive force is given to be 24 volts, the I is 3 amps, and our lowercase r is 0.5 ohms. So 24 volts minus 1.5 volts gives us 22.5 volts is the terminal voltage across our battery that exists when our electrons are flowing through our electric circuit. So now knowing our voltage, uh, the terminal voltage, let's move on to part B. We want to calculate the value of R. So we're calculating for these R's. So let's begin by recalling the relationship between the voltages across our resistors and the total voltage across our battery. So we spoke about this in the previous lecture. We said that V terminal on the battery is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4, where V1 is simply our voltage across resistor 1, V2 is the voltage across resistor 2, and so on. So, let's replace V1, V2, V3, and V4 with I multiplied by R1 plus I multiplied by R2 plus I multiplied by R3 plus I multiplied by R4. This is simply Ohm's Law. So, notice the I's are exactly the same. We can bring them outside of our equation and we get this result. So, notice R1 and R4 are simply our uppercase R's. So, these can be combined and we get I multiplied by 2R plus R2 plus R3. So, let's take this equation and solve for R. So, we see that R is equal to V terminal divided by I minus R2 minus R3 divided by 2 where this 2 comes from this factor here. So, V terminal was found to be 22.5 volts. Our I is 3 amps. R2 is simply 3 ohms. R3 is 2 ohms. We combine that, we have minus 5 ohms and divide that by 2 and that gives us 1.25 ohms is the quantity of resistance found on resistor 1 and resistor 4. And finally, let's move on to part C. Calculate the voltage across resistor number 3. So, to calculate V3, we simply take the product of the electric current and the resistance found on our resistor number 3. So, the resistance is 2 ohm, the current is 3 amps, 3 multiplied by 2 gives us a voltage of 6. So, a voltage difference of 6 volts exists across resistor number 3.